everyone welcome back this is things I'm loving skincare so it's kind of a favorites but I sort of stopped doing the monthly favorites thing so this is much more sort of things I've been enjoying using recently and there will be a things I'm loving makeup up after this um, so yes let's crack on because and I've kind of changed to a slightly different lens which means you can now see the table behind me which means I've had to put everything in my lap it's very attractive okay let's start with a cleanser pretty much as always this is the belief cleansing gel oil enriched it looks like this I got this in Sephora when I was in the States fix your lighting Caroline um, why do I like this well here's the thing it says it's for normal to dry skin I think you could use it on all skin types I'm just going to put my bag of goodies there it looks like this so it is a proper sort of runny gel it's a nice oil texture though so it's kind of giving you the balm feeling without the thickness of the balm there is a slight scent but nothing sort of overpowering and then if you want to you can rinse this off with water as i know some of you are want to do i'm not a fan i like a flannel um, it does say it will remove makeup. I haven't used it for that, I have to say. I like it as a skin cleanser. So I tend to use this much more in the morning as a first and only cleanse or as a second cleanse in the evening. But it's suitable for all skin types. It's just a really nice sort of, a nice change. I'm gonna take that down because it's irritating me. A nice change in texture is probably the best way to describe it. Um, it's mineral oil free, obvs. Um, I like the front, it says skin conditioning agent 38%, emollient 56%, mineral oil zero, synthetic fragrance zero, synthetic dye zero, synthetic preserve, you can see where we're going, animal origin ingredient zero. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying it. The products I've liked, the products I've used from Belief, I've liked all of them. So that's a bit of a winner. Next up is from Clinique. It is a welcome addition to their Moisture Surge range. It is the Hydrating Supercharged Concentrate and it looks like this. Moisture Surge targets dehydration mainly and dehydration is easily the number one skin condition that I'm asked about, that I see, that I spot on the tube when I really have no business looking at people's skin. The skin is made up of 70% water and 20 to 30% of that is held in the top layers. So it's really easy to get dehydrated. Key things, travel, lifestyle i say travel because that's my first thing that i think of travel lifestyle air conditioning heating the weather everything has the ability to dehydrate the skin and the problem is a dehydrated skin is compromised and therefore anything else that's potentially wrong with your skin is amplified the good news is that dehydration is the easiest to treat and in terms of i've always said in terms of skin conditions if someone comes to me with a skin and they have <laughs> everybody comes to me with a skin. If they come to me with a particular skin problem, the first thing I do is treat dehydration, then you treat sensitivity, and then you go after the main culprit. This is great because being moisture surge, it's oil free. You can use it if you have the most acneic of skins. It's not gonna give you any extra problems. It's fragrance free because it's Clinique. It looks like this. Really light gel, almost imperceptible. Looks like that. And it, see these little spheres? these little spheres that it holds so it looks like a champagne glass no I link it to champagne um, are vitamins C and E so it has added extra antioxidant protection the antioxidant inclusion means that this is more than capable of behaving as a moisturizer on a skin that doesn't want anything too heavy if you don't like the feel of moisturizer if you are someone whose makeup always disappears on their skin this could be perfect for you the reason it does that is that your foundation will typically have a water base you put it on your skin, your skin absorbs the water because it's so dehydrated and it leaves you with pigment and that's why you go patchy. Put this on first, then put your foundation on and you won't have that problem. If you already love the Moisture Surge range, the main difference you're gonna notice is that the Moisture Surge cream is a gel cream, whereas this concentrate is a water gel. So this is much lighter. If you were layering, you would do this. Actually, I would spritz then do this and then do the original moisture surge or you can use it under your moisturizer of choice they don't have to be used as a wardrobe so a lot of the time when you're dehydrated you reach for something that's much thicker in terms of moisturizer when actually what you might be better off doing is reaching for something that's wetter which is exactly what this is 
So if you've been noticing that your skin is suffering with the changes in the weather, especially in the UK, one minute it's pouring down and the next minute it's boiling hot, you might find switching to something that's a bit lighter is perfect. Next up, hmm. Alpha H Vitamin B with Copper Tripeptide. Looks like that. Now you'll have remembered this, you will remember this if you watched my Alpha H video last week, where, oh, there's a lot of bending down today. I showed you this, which was their vitamin new vitamin profiling set. Looks like that. Now you get all four in there, which is A, B, C, and E. Let's just put it down, shall we, Caroline? Um, this is actually the big one of the vitamin B, and I really love the vitamin B. Um, <laughs> here's the funny thing. I gravitated towards this instinctively. I just want to read you what they say the skin type it's for. Dehydrated, dull, pigmented, stressed, blotchy, and sagging. Bit rude. However, it reminds me of the Neod case, the copper amino isolate, blah, blah, blah. Does have the blue, that has a sort of light blue undertone. It is fragrance free. Yes, definitely fragrance free. And I just find it really gives me sort of a nice boost. It says two to three drops each morning to a cleansed face, neck and decolletage. Avoid the delicate eye and lip areas and follow with your preferred Alpha H daily moisturiser. You can follow with any moisturiser, we know that. So if you're old and sagging, embrace the B. Next up, let's go, oh let's go for an exfoliator. This is January Labs Skin Essentials Daily Brightening Tonic. Looks like that. Now, January has long been on the blog. This is her new product. It is only lactic acid, water aloe, lactic acid, and then it's all fruit ex extracts and sugars, blah, blah, blah. Um, I find this is a really nice change from the normal glycolics. And if you're someone who can't use glycolic, it's a no brainer for you. Um, lactic is brightening, it resurfaces. Um, it's not as aggressive as a glycolic. It might, you might say it's more suited to you if you have a darker skin tone. Although I don't want to freak people out when I say that darker skin shouldn't use glycolic acid. You shouldn't have a glycolic acid professional peel, but any therapist would tell you that. Um, but I just find this is a nice change. I tend to use it in the mornings for some reason, maybe because it's a bit more gentle than the sort of gung-ho of a P50 or something, but a very nice addition to the range. Nice work, January. And January is actually her name. Okay, I have one, two, three left. Let's do this one first. Okay, this is Charlotte Tilbury Overnight Bronze and Glow Mask. Looks like that. Actually, I think I got this before it came out and they've stuck a label on there. But underneath it says Dream Bronze Mask. Maybe that's what they were gonna call it before. They're literally gonna shoot me for telling you that, but that's okay, it's not my fault. Um, overnight hydrating flawless tan mask. Now I don't generally use things that are tanning overnight. I know everyone does. I just always worry about my pillows, but I quite like this and I like that it gives you, it's white colored. There's no sort of, it's not tinted. Um, if I was using this, I don't use it on top of sort of a really heavy duty retinol. I would use it on top of something a, like a light serum. Like one of the Alpha H serums would be perfect under this or the Clinique Moisture Surge would be perfect under this. Something that, so if you use something that's hydrating, like the Moisture Surge, if you put that on first, um, give it a minute or two, I would then do a light spritz, give that a minute or two, and then put this on. That way, your Moisture Surge is hydrating, the spritz is gonna stick to the hyaluronic acid in the Moisture Surge, and then this can go ahead and give you the tan that you're after. Um, Da, 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 I'm just making sure there's nothing in here. Yes, so use Dream Glow over one to three nights to the intensity of your desired tan, which if you're anything like me, is tanned. I have two SPFs left. One is a physical SPF and one is a chemical SPF because I know there are all sorts of people out there who like different variations. First up is the chemical SPF, which is the Pixie Sun Serum Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sheer Sunscreen and Lip Balm. Now, I love this and I hadn't used it until I went to LA for, to see Pixie in April and I saw it in the store, stole it obviously, and it looks like this, sorry how rude of me. What I love about it, can I just put this down, I can't hold three things at once, what I love about it, 
first of all this is lush oh that's a bit too much but never mind a little goes a really long way it totally absorbs in seconds oh just smells like SPF oh I know I know it's a weird thing but SPF is one of my favorite smells so this one um, is avabenzone, octinoxate, octisalate, and oxybenzone. So for those of you who can't use zinc and titanium dioxide, this one would be for you. And then, oh, for those of you that can't use those, there's the Josie Moran. Now this one, again, this is zinc oxide and titanium, titanium dioxide. This is Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47. This was given, um, I was given the heads up about this by Stephanie Nicole when we were in Sephora in I think it was Jan was it January earlier this year when she came to California it's such a nice product look so this is obviously going to have a bit more of a cast which you can see immediately because it's a physical SPF it does it does rub through though you're not going to have like um sort of really ashy undertones if you're a darker skin it has some kind of, hang on. Yes, it does definitely have some kind of organic essential oil content in there. I'm guessing. It says fragrance, not helpful, I know. However, it's not overpowering. I suspect they've done it to hide the smell. I don't know why. I love the smell of SPF. It makes me think of holiday, but it's a really nice moisturizer. It's one of the few SPFs like the Pixie that you can wear on its own as a moisturizer and you don't have to use another moisturizer underneath. So that's a winner. Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> okay, so there's the Belief, lovely all skin types. The Clinique, lovely all skin types. January Labs, lovely again, all skin types. Alpha H, sagging old hags, rude. Charlotte Tilbury, people who want to have a bit more of a tan persuasion, and the two SPFs. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. They're currently on rotation at the moment. I have so much product I'm testing. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen earlier this week, I just said swipe, swipe right, which to you is that way. And it was just basically, there's like 10 items in each part of the routine. So I'm working my way through, but I hope you enjoyed and I will see you for what I'm loving makeup next.